Hi, in this episode of Gray Lightning, we're going to talk about how to make these custom acrylic shelves using a laser cutter, and they're perfect for displaying miniature models. Hi, welcome to another making episode of Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And in this episode, I want to talk about how I designed and made these acrylic shelves that are perfect for displaying miniatures. And I have examples here. This is an entire army of zombie side figures that uh, my son and I have painted. Here are uh, War Machine and Hordes, my Circle Orboros army that I'm working on. They're perfect for Warhammer, for uh, Dark Age, anything that's made by Cool Mini or not, this is all perfect for displaying those. And I have three styles here. These two here can be assembled and disassembled without using any glue, so that's perfect for taking to game night and setting up and displaying your army. These are fused and are good for permanent displays. And this here is an example of what I call my pedestal shelves. And they're perfect for really highlighting special miniatures. So I'll talk about how to make all of these in this episode. So let's start with the simplest uh, design, the pedestal shelves. The blue lines are engraving lines, the red lines are cutting lines, and so I've engraved circles to show me where to put the posts for the different pedestals. All of my corners, I use rounded corners for cutting so there's no sharp edges, and I use the smart guides to help me lay out things like these uh, location of the posts accurately. As for the shelf, I just do a design for one and then I use the laser cutter to do multiples. I'll need five of these for my design. The fuse shelves, the hardest part about the fuse shelves is getting the size of the slot right because acrylic does not have consistent thickness and this is based on the thickness of your acrylic. So you have to actually measure it and use that measurement and test it to make sure these slots are the right size. Turn the grid on because it'll be very helpful when you're doing this type of a design. And here's a tip that really helped me. Use the direct selection tool to pick multiple points. In this case, I'm grabbing two points and I'm using the arrow keys to move them out uh, to the left and to the right. And this lets you move things very consistently and accurately along the grid. I also have step shelves and you can see here I've got two sides. These are cut in quarter inch acrylic and I've rotated one and nested it in so I can use my acrylic very efficiently. And once again when you're making shelves I need different widths of shelves in my eighth inch acrylic here. So I use the direct selection tool and I can use my arrow keys again just to make the shelves wider. The portable shelves took us about three iterations to get correct, and the big challenge was to make them sturdy without gluing them together. So we ended up having this design where we put pins down through the tabs that stick out the side of the shelves, and there are backs on the shelves that have hooks that go into these hooks on the sides. The pins I'm cutting out of the same sheet, they're also quarter inch, so I'm just sandwiching them in here between the sides of the shelves. And you can see on the shelves, this is cut out of eighth inch again, but now the tabs stick out far enough that there's a hole and a pin sticks down through this hole. And we also cut the backs with the hooks that fit on the sides. Cutting the acrylic rod is pretty low tech. We use a bandsaw to rotate the rod and cut it. And then we do a little smoothing of the ends on the uh, belt sander, but you have to be careful or you'll actually melt the acrylic. So you have to just tap it lightly. Here's the laser cutter cutting the base for the pedestal shelf. You can see that there's the five registration marks are already engraved and now it's just finishing the cut. Here's the fuse shelves. These designs are all very simple designs so they cut very quickly on the laser cutter. Moving on to assembly, the easiest assembly is of course the one that doesn't require any glue. So here I am putting together uh, the stepped version, two shelf version of the portable shelves. And I just put them together and I stick the pins in one side, set it up, stick the pins in the other side, stick the backs on. And that's it. It took about a minute to put together in real time. 
The pedestal shelf assembly, I have five shelves, but I always cut an extra. I have one shorter post, I cut an extra of that, and I have four longer posts, always an extra. And here's the actual base, and so the design has me putting the shorter post in the middle and the longer post on the outside. I use this well-done solvent cement. It, the way you use it is you have this plastic bottle that you squeeze the air out of and then you suck the solvent up into the bottle and it takes very little to do a lot of work. The first thing I have to do is to attach the platforms to the top of the post so I do that. Now the way you're really supposed to do this is to hold the two pieces together and squirt the solvent in at the edge and it's supposed to wick into the space but I found that really wasn't necessary for this application. It was easier just to stick it in the middle and put the piece on. And then it takes about a minute for that to set up and then you go ahead and uh, weld the posts to the base. I put the short one on first so that I won't make a mistake and then I put the longer platforms on the other four slots. So once again, this process took about five minutes with a two minute break in the middle for the fusing of the first section to take place, and then that's it. Uh, within six or seven minutes, you have a finished set of shelves. It's a little more complicated to do these fused shelves, mostly because I need a second pair of hands to help me, and luckily I have a set. Uh, so someone has to hold it square while you put the fusing liquid on. Now, I've made the, the tabs a little bit longer than the sides so that it sticks out, and I have a ledge to run the, the fusing liquid along so it wicks into the space, and then it fuses together like it's one piece of plastic. I always clean my shelves with anti-static cleaner because otherwise dust will stick all over the acrylic and that doesn't look so great. Anyone who's into this hobby knows how much time and love goes into painting your miniatures, so take them out of the box and put them where everyone can see them and appreciate them. I love to make things, but I really love to make things for gamers, and I have a lot of other projects, so if you're interested, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.